guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while. I've been working on um, some fall crafts to put in my vintage booth, but I wanted to do a journal with me and I wanted to specifically work in the strawberry journals that I created. These are currently um, for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, thank you to everyone who's ordered so far. I just thought it would be fun to journal along with you. Um, so this is the actual journal with the trim package and the add-on package over here. I pulled out some strawberry charms that I have, a little strawberry notepad. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this journal to document my garden and my flowers this year. So I thought I would prep just a couple pages um, without doing any of the journaling today just because I don't have pictures yet. Um, I'll have to go around and take pictures of the garden and all of the um, flowers that are blooming. It'll be so nice to remember what it looked like uh, this time next year. So I think I'm going to start by taking some of the trims. I know for sure I want to add a ruffle trim page. Um, and I think this near middle page here, I want it to stick out. So let's see. So I just have to do it on the edge. So what I'm going to do for this one is just start with some hot glue. And I love my journals to be bulky with a ton of things sticking out of them, trims and paper clips and um, tags and tabs and all those kinds of things. So starting with something like this is a fun way to start. Oops. All right, there we go. And I am glued to the page behind it. Shoot. All right, that's all right. We'll make that work. I'm not worried about it. That's just a little bit that came off of here. And I can cover that up. So I'm just going to trim this off on the bottom. And then I just want to finish that up. Okay, love how that looks. And then I'll just trim this page up when I'm working on it later in the journal. So it looks like that, it's super cute already. Um, this red trim is just a little like knit trim. I'm trying to find a cute little spot to put that. That might be cute here on the front. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it along this edge right here. And I think to be a little bit more precise and not get it all over everything else, I'm going to put it, lay it flat on here. Okay, so I have that down. I think it looks cute with the red and then the pink. Um, with some of these other trims, I thought I would make a, like a, I don't know what you call it, like a ribbon tassel. So I was going to take this as my bottom piece. So I've got the strawberry fabric and then I'm going to layer it up with the ginghams. And let's see, I think I can even use that little bit of red that's left over there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm basically going to cinch it between these little um, pronged sides here. So you're gonna put it in here and then you're gonna use a pliers type tool like this to pinch this together and keep the ribbon in place. And I will definitely do all of my um, trimming of the ribbon after I have it all put together. So we're gonna do that. Um, I 
would like this on there just because I think it's so cute and it adds a little bit more texture to it. Let's do just those four. Well, no, I do want to add these in too. We'll put these on the bottom. So I'm going to do that and this, the little yarn pieces on the bottom. So now I've got them all together. They're all the same length up here on top. And then I'm going to put them inside here. So they do make pliers that have a plastic over the top of the metal. Um, and those are nice to use on this. It doesn't scratch the metal up. I don't think I did too bad on this one, but sometimes it does make dents in the metal. But I'm okay with that. All right, so they are all secured in there like this. And now I just want to determine how long I want it to be. So what I think I'm going to do is take this little bit larger of a jump ring. And I'm just going to put that through the top. And then I was going to add it to a bulb pin. But I also want to add this strawberry charm to the top of it. Go ahead and close it up and then let's get one of these out do a pink one and I think I'll make them about about there so I'm gonna do that you know, you can cut them at different lengths. Okay. So it looks like that, super cute. And then I'm gonna glue it, or glue it, I'm gonna add it to the bulb pin. And I think for now, I'm just going to put it through these holes in the eyelet. And then I might use it on a page inside um, once I get going in the journal, but that'll be kind of a placeholder for it. All right, so that I wanted to do, um, but I'm gonna take that off for now. While I'm working in it, just have a flatter surface. So I wanted to also take this strawberry fabric and I'm gonna get out my stapler for this and I'm gonna make a few tabs with different trims. So I'm gonna do a couple of these. Let's see, I'll do two of these. And then I'll do Two of these and two of the red and I'm just gonna staple these in place throughout the book Oops. I think my first one is gonna be here Like I said, I'm just gonna use my stapler for that. Okay. Then, I'm only gonna use one here. I think I'm gonna put this one on the top. All right. 
that. I'm going to that one here. Let's do let's do this one sticking out the top. one here. Okay, so we've got all the tags and the trims in on there. And let's see what else. So this is the add-on pack. I'm gonna open this up. And I think I'm gonna use one of these guest checks to make a tuck spot. Yeah, let's do that here. Um, trying to debate if I want to do two sides or just one, but I think we'll just go with the one down the side. Um, and before we do that, I'm gonna add I'm gonna add some pink distress to it. So just using my little dabber here. take my Fabri-Tac glue just let that dry and then this is just going to be a tuck spot that we can put some pictures or uh, journaling into. Um, another thing that I knew I wanted to do was to take my time card. So these do fold. Mine's a little wrinkled here. So we're, I want to fold it and I wanted to add it to um, a page so that it Fold it open. Oh, did I do did I do that wrong? Yep, I folded it on the wrong spot. Okay. I need to fold here. And then here. Okay. So what I wanted to do with this one is glue the back down so then it actually opened like this and I could journal inside of it here. So let's find a page to do that on. Let's do it over here on this side and then like I said that can open up and then we can use this blank page for photos on this side so I'm going to use this And then what I like to do when I have things like this that um, you want to let people know that it's interactive, if you want to let them know, I guess. If you want to keep it secret, you wouldn't do this, but or private. 
I am going to add a tag on there. So they know that they can open that and see something inside. in here. I think I've got a few things I wanted to use in here, like the seed packet and the library card. Let's get those down as well. And then we'll save the rest of those, but I wanted to get these glued down. Let's go ahead and glue this. I know that I want to keep this as a pocket. I wasn't sure when I first started how I wanted to use it, um, but I know that I'm going to want to use it as a pocket. So let's go ahead and glue that down. Okay. And then I think on this side, this looks so plain. I wonder if we could decoupage something on there. So these are three ply. So if you're gonna take it apart, make sure that you take those extra two ply off. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this. Just so it's easier to work with, I'm just gonna make it a little bit of a smaller surface. Okay, those off to the side. And then let's just determine what we want on there. That is really cute like that. So if we did, I'm gonna try it with the Fabri-Tac glue and see if it works like decoupage just because I don't have any um, Mod Podge near me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try and get this as even as possible around here. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger to spread it. Okay. That's perfect. Okay, that turned out really cute. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut around here. Oh my gosh, didn't that make such a difference? I love how that looks. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of rough up the edges here. But now I don't know if I want to put this strawberry against that strawberry. Let's find the back of that page. Yeah, let's use this page. I like that better. 
So then this actually has stickers on the back. Let's just peel it. And then I'm gonna stick that on there. And then this can go inside there. That's so cute. I love how that turned out. Um, and then I can glue this down better if I want to in the future, but that is fine for now. Now let's go back to this page here, and I think I will add my seed packet here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do the fabric tag on here. And then we've got a little pocket there. Love that. Love that. All right. I think one of the last things I want to do today is I'm going to make this bookmark and I'm going to take this trim out again. And what I'm going to do is just take a hole punch. Actually, I'm debating, should I hole punch it or should I just staple it on there? Let's see. I think because I'm gonna use several different um, trims, I think I'll do the hole punch. I think that'll help me get a more secure. Um, tag. So let's do this one first because it's the biggest. All right, then we're gonna do the red gingham. We're gonna do green gingham. Where is my green gingham? There it is. I don't have very much of that left, but that's all right. I think that might be all we're going to be able to fit through there. So I'm just going to take those and then I'm going to take my red yarn. And I'm actually going to tie those up here. I'm going to do a double knot and then I'm going to do a bow. And then I'm going to double knot the bow. Okay, cut off those extra pieces here. And then I just want to make sure that my fabric is finished on the ends here as well. Do that. And on the back side. And then you can spread that out. Like that. That is so cute. I think I'm gonna take this down just a little bit. Oops. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put that, I think, actually I'm going to put it in the back on this one, and then I'm going to go ahead and seal this one up then as well. This is coming along so 
cute. Um, we'll put this back on and then I will do a little flip through. Well, now we can add it to a tab, so I'm actually going to add it over here like that. So it can act as a little dangle off the side. So we've got the front. This is curling up a little bit, but I'll add some things to it, and then it should flatten out a little bit. It's just from the hot glue. Um, still have just the little card in the pocket there. Inside here, we have the doily. Here is where I added just this for now just I'm not sure if that's where it'll stay but that is where it's gonna live um, the guest check here as a tuck spot we've got our little fabric tabs throughout this one a little seed packet down here we added this ruffle and another little tab here Tab here, got our little card with the um, fabric and trim on it. Another little tab down here, a little tab here. We can open that up. And then our little faux decoupage library card. So I think I am gonna end up adding just a little bit of glue to glue that down. go and that's the end of it all right guys thank you so much for coming along to help me um decorate some foundation pages in here and um we'll do a little bit more next time and then i'll also take some pictures of my flowers and my vegetable garden so i can get started putting those in here as well thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye